Hi, this is Chubham from Moonist View, and today in this podcast we gonna discuss about stamp duty and registration charges. Over here we will discuss what is the meaning of this duty and charges, also various factors which affect these components and the bottom line. But before starting this podcast, if you want to read the full article about this, then the link of our article is provided in description. Also, if you want to watch a quick summary video, in less than 90 seconds, then subscribe to our YouTube channel Moonist View. So let's start. A per- Purchasing home is a probably a dream investment and also arguably the most significant financial decision of your life. Searching for the right property, applying for a loan, signing the sale agreement, or all the parts of this process. But enlisting your property at your name is one of the most vital steps. To have a legal evidence of ownership, you have to register the property in your name in the local municipal records. At the time of registration, you will need to pay a stamp duty, which is levied by the the state governments the amount may vary from state to state it also depends on the type of a property old or new as a stamp duty adds up to the property cost it is vital to have a fair estimate before purchasing any property so now let's understand what is this stamp duty exactly a state government levy a tax on the sale of all property or property ownership within their jurisdiction it is known as a stamp duty and this duty is payable under section 3 of a indian in stamp act 1899 state collect this stamp duty to legalize your registration agreement you will need a stamp duty paid label on your registration document for it to serve as a legal record for your ownership of a property the transferee usually pay the stamp duty unless there is an arrangement for the contrary is made however both party have to bear the stamp duty equally in the case of exchange of a properties now let discuss what are the different factors which determine the stamp duty charges the first one is the age of a property the age of your property play a vital role in determining the stamp duty charges since it is charged on the total value of a property market research shows that newer property tend to attract a heavier stamp duty charges compared to the older one the second factor is the age of a property holder most state charge senior citizen lower stamp duty charges and hence your age is also determining factor in calculating a stamp duty on your property the third factor is a type of a property an independent house attract lesser stamp duty charges when compared to a flats and apartments the fourth factor is a gender of a owner indian legislature mandates states to charge women a subsidized stamp duty fee men pay out 2% more stamp duty charges than women property owner the fifth key factor is a purpose of a property residential properties attract a lower stamp duty fees compared to the commercial properties since the latter Where several more administrative commercial properties have heavier stamp duty charges. The sixth key factor is a location of a property. Any property situated in urban areas incurs higher stamp duty charges than a building located in a suburban or a rural area. Seventh key factor is amenities. Many residential or commercial properties have several amenities such as swimming pools, library, gym, community hall, and so on. Stamp duty is also determined based on the amenities enjoyed. by the property a building with additional amenities attract a higher stamp duty fee other than one which has a lower or no or few amenities now let's understand what is a registration charge over here all users need to pay a cost for the state government to put a contract or a deed in the state record it is known as a registration charge the indian registration act 1908 dictate how state governments register the documents within the stamp duty fee may vary according to state the registration charge is usually kept at a minimum of a 1% of a property price however it may vary according to a gender and some factors now let discuss what is a bottom line over here stamp duty acts as a legal evidence that the purchase of a property has been completed and registered in owner's name it is imposed on all legal property transaction and is valid for a 6 months several documents require stamp duty such as mortgage deed certificates for sale partitions and lease deeds power of attorney among others be sure to check a relevant stamp duty charges before buying a property if you want to read the full article about this then the link of article is provided in description also if you want to watch a quick summary video of less than 90 seconds then subscribe to our youtube channel monis to thank you guys for joining with us for this podcast over here shubham from monis to signing off